So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video I'm actually going to show you how to create backgrounds for a Power BI in minutes in like a very very easy way. Um, let's get started. Okay so on Tuesday I actually show you how to create this storytelling by uh, data you know, book visualizations where you pick something and it, it highlights both the chart and the text, the headline. Uh, very, very useful technique. If you want to check this out, just go to, I will post a link below, go to the video on Tuesday. But one thing we, we know, we've, we finished everything, we recreated the entire technical stuff, but now we want to create a background, for example, like the one that is in here. So I was actually going to learn Figma. It's a very popular tool, but I found Adobe XD. I'm going to give you a link that will give you this tool for free. Amazing. It's so, so useful. It's part of the Adobe Cloud program. And they have a starter plan that allows you to get a working version of these for free. And let me show you how easy this is. Okay, so first of all, you have, when you open it up, you have already here, like if you want to create a mobile uh, background or if you want to do it for the web, which this is the one that you will use for um, the default size for Power BI. You have Instagram story, you can do YouTube thumbnail, whatever you want, okay? And what we're going to do is recreate the thumbnail, or the background that I had on the report that I show you. So this is, you start with a blank canvas. You know, I am still learning this, but it's so good. Okay, so what we're going to do, just to remind you, is to have this header, right? With the uh, colors and all that stuff. Okay, so let's create the headers, right? So you are going to go to this rectangle, and then we are going to create a rectangle and then oh, and then to move it you get the move thing there and then oh, more or less as you like it now what I want to do is I want the same way as I had in here I want to round the lower corner just as an example I mean you can do anything so if you drag here it will round everything that's not what I wanted what I wanted was to actually round only one. So you click Alt and then it will just round the one that you're on. You see it there? Beautiful. And now I'm going to do another one in here for the slicer. So you can actually see that there's a slicer there. Do it like that. The guides work very, very well. Alt, make smaller. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to color this thing. Um, I showed you in a previous video that I have an eye picker from Power Tools, link down below. Don't miss that video, it's such a lifesaver. And we're going to grab the colors for these two boxes, right? So if I go back to Power BI, I'm going to grab this color first. I have it there. This is the eye picker tool that I'm telling you. This is just amazing. Go back to Adobe, get it here, and then use Feel and change it, right? And now we're going to go back to Power BI and then grab that color. This one here, copy, go back on the field and paste it. And you see that you have the different colors. Now, you can see that there is a border. You can decide if you want the border or not. So that you do by clicking on the object and get rid of it. And then you can add a background, a drop shadow if you want to. So let's do some drop shadow like that. Another thing is you want to have probably the company logo, either your company logo or your customer's company logo. So to add an image, you create an object, a rectangle. Then you go in your file and you look for the image. So I have my image. So I have my image right here. You just drop it and you see that, right? And then this is quite cool. It gives you tips now and then about, you know, cool things. I always click on them because I'm still learning these tools. So I just say, okay, what are you going to teach me now? It's so cool. You know, because you learn incrementally instead of having to read the entire manual. I'm not a manual reader person, so I prefer to read incrementally as I need. 
And uh, yeah, that's all. Once you have this, you have the possibility to save in the Adobe Cloud or to your local folder or just export. So if you would export all boards, you can go here, replace. Okay, now let me show you the last thing. Normally when you're doing Power BI stuff, backgrounds, you want to highlight certain parts of the background depending on what the story is about. So when I was doing that, I always had to, you know, copy paste the thing in Photoshop where I have different files for different things and it became a mess quite quickly. Look at how you can create based on the same background, different versions of it, right? And having it all in one file, it's just amazing. So you select the, what you created, right? And then you extend it. You see the handles, you extend the handles. So let's say that we want to have six pages report, right? So we extend it like six, and then you do ungroup, and look at that. You have the different elements, and now you can create the different backgrounds. You can say, okay, I want to have in here a big square, whatever, on whatever color. You, you get the point. So you have all your designs in one place to work with. This tool is absolutely amazing. And to get it for free, the link is here. If you go to our Adobe website, it will not say it's free. I don't know why I found the free link. I don't think, I mean, it's like starter plan for people like you and me trying to figure things out. I would definitely pay for the product because this is very, very, very good. So. Give it a go if you enjoy it, download it. It's just amazing. Okay, so I will see you again next week. Enjoy your weekend. When it comes, we still have a few days left to work. And 